the battery when you look at it including the starter motor not forgetting the neutral pack switch with the big man that is the ECU plus other simple machines that is like the normal open relay including the normal closed relay plus the switch at your dashboard without forgetting the fuses in the fuse box not forgetting the diode can do a lot of work and uh, the junction box sorry the junk the jb the junction connectors jc junction connectors also nc which is normally closed relay uh, we have neo this is a normally open relay a battery starter motor pack or neutral switch ECM, this is the car computer, plus our three fuses, including the ignition switch. Now, over here, when you're wiring, uh, let me start with the red wire that is red from the battery to the starter motor. Uh, with the other switching with from battery to a starter motor point. Then, other cars get another wire from here to other service or where positive is needed then others get their wire from here to other any area where electric electricity is needed but uh, whatever the case for this video hope we are together i'm going to rub them all off then uh, we first go by the red wire which is positive because here we are using dc this is direct current from battery uh to power our vehicle wiring diagram okay now let's go this is now a red big wire to a starter motor battery terminal cable and uh, then we have our next red wire from the fuse here into the open normally open relay like so then we have another red wire from the switch from the ignition switch I don't want to congest my work, please. So I'm sorry about this all. And then it comes here also. That is also a wire. Meaning, when your battery loads the starter motor, another cable has been loaded it to the ignition switch then the ignition switch powers the accessories the ecm what and whatever then we are going to have another wire from the key now from the key here we are going to have this relay point power so now since we have our load here within the within the system because we have already loaded the ignition switch so now we want to turn on the ignition switch to power the accessories so to power the accessories we will have this kind of connection whereby uh we are powering the this this normally closed relay is going to receive current immediately once you turn on the first ignition key okay then let me take that first ignition key and you see how it is connected so from here we are going to connect the there is there is one cable which is going to connect our accessories from here to that point so from here then this really turns on all the accessories that is the ecm which is the vehicle computer 
uh, you can now turn on the indicator lights you can turn on everything just from here so let me ground my relay because it has already a current my relay is grounded from that point uh, let me start grounding let me ground the alternator The alternator is also grounded and then we we grounded the battery also the battery is also grounded then we are going also to ground the normally open relay since we are now grounding let's ground all this at a go and uh, we let air other load power supplies continue. Yes. So now after grounding all that, we are going to now see how will this starter motor turn. Because we haven't turned the starter motor, but now the car has been turned on. The dashboard is lighting just by applying power to the normally open normally closed relay sorry so the normally closed relay has been powered but uh, then we're going to have power from the switch to these three other sorry power from this switch going to other accessories of the car or vehicle just for other functions that is maybe like if you are applying in any other system that is a radio and so on whatever so you will have those switches there and then the normal kilos delay does its other work then getting you how we're going to power this starter motor now because the starter motor is started by this normally open relay because the normally open relay receives current from the first ignition key since this is common we're not going to put any wire here so the fuse is also going to receive <coughs> sorry wire another wire from here wire from the, the switch To the fuse to protect this relay from burning out okay and uh, we have asked our relay and then we have another cable so the starter motor control terminal is getting its power from the normally open relay to a starter control box then how does this relay turn on because it has already power but it has the coil has not yet received power to turn on <clears throat> then the, what turns on this relay is the is the ECM including the neutral parking switch but uh, the neutral parking switch the neutral parking switch here and uh, ECM they are going to do their work smoothly then now let's turn it on how we're turning it on it is going to get power we have a, a JB JB is this is just for a junction box we have one wire going to a neutral pack switch from the neutral pack switch we have another wire now there is wire into the neutral pack switch and another wire into the ECM the computer so this wire in yellow or gold is telling 
is getting command from the ECU that the car is in is in need to start and then the ignition key is going further one wire here we have going to two, one wire from the switch to a junction box then one wire from the junction box is coming direct and telling the issue that the car has received the power to start then another wire from the jb junction box is coming to the diode the diode is just directing one direction flow cause power moves from the cathode to the anode into the issue into the issue that the car is in need of starting then another wire is telling the issue another wire is going to the neutral pack switch so the neutral pack switch is telling the issue that the car is in either neutral or pack if the car is not in any of those two wires since it has a given diagram of this kind let me draw it here simply so you find that there is p here and n here which is neutral then there is common here c and uh, these two points they receive power from the common so if these two lines are not connected the car will not produce current to the direction like so however much this was the incoming direction that is how it works meaning I'll give you this video over how this car neutral pack switch works. However, here it was just by what. Then let's review of what we have done. So since we have this starter motor and the starter motor is a big power, uh, it needs a high much power to start. Since there is this wire here from the switch via the junction box, which is telling the ECU to power the normally open normally closed relay off. It is telling the normally closed relay to power off just because the our battery here our battery here is uh, has some charged voltage which we want to use it specifically to power the key and then it will recharge but we don't want to waste that voltage which was stored before the car starts so the ECU is, t is turning on this relay the relay to open up here slightly because this lock here will open up to a given angle like so and uh, it goes off normally closed relay to open up for that that ima that imagine that simple time or that less period of time for the ec for the ecu again to command this relay to power on this relay to close the normally open relay for the voltage to play to flow over the starter control terminal telling the starter motor that is now since the starter motor has received the two power supplies on it to start cranking the engine and this this ring gear gets out and messes with the plan gear or a ring gear over the engine to start the engine then in order to further protect this this relay here it is again powered it receives power from the 
yeah, it's earthing is controlled from the fuse here. So in simple terms to say, this is how you wiring diagram looks like. However, all these wires that you see here are placed in a wire harness over a big wire like so and covered. in a big wire harness with some grooves. If you have ever been catered to see this, you'll find some big wire, whereby you have some many wires out of this, in this format, like so. Now, since we, we are not going to move very far over this issue, this is how simply your ignition key and the wiring diagram of your vehicle looks like however i'm going to give you other simple diagrams over how this neutral pack switch and ecu gives commands to the starter motor so other machines here work by sending voltage to that point others work by ejecting voltage from the point now for example here it works by ejecting power and uh, here it uh, w works automatically that is uh, that is again by ejecting this this coil once you eject the coil here Immediately, the magnetism which was created here will no longer be active, letting this wire retract again by a spring. While here, the magnet keeps on in order to keep this magnet is demagnetized with voltage. However, when voltage goes off, this wire, this coil here, retains its magnet. 